So today I'm talking about a P1440 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P1440 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system small leak. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have an EVAP system, which basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted in a why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad gas cap, there could be an EVAP leak somewhere, could be a bad purge valve, could be the vent valve, could be the charcoal canister, could be in the wiring, and possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor. And so the basics of what's going on inside the EVAP system is you have a hose coming from the gas tank, and the gas vapors go up and around, and they go to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister basically holds the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And it also has some other components like the vent valve solenoid. And the onboard computer uses the vent valve solenoid to do tests on the system. It opens and closes at different times and things like this. And then you have a hose that leaves the charcoal canister and it goes up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve solenoid. And this basically opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And there's also a fuel tank pressure sensor somewhere inside the system. It's usually on the fuel pump, but it can be in other locations. And the fuel tank pressure sensor is what the onboard computer uses to monitor the whole system. So if that sensor was to go bad, then there might not be a problem in the system, but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor is sending it bad data. So that's always something to keep in mind. And so the first thing to do when you get this code or any EVAP code really is to go check the gas cap because this is a part of the EVAP system and it needs a seal or else it'll cause a leak. And so go and check it. Be sure that the seal around it looks good. It doesn't look damaged or cracked or anything like that if it does look bad then it's probably a good idea to replace it if you do replace it try to get an oem original gas cap because sometimes those third-party aftermarket gas caps they don't seal correctly and they cause problems sometimes so it's always a good idea to get oem gas cap for your particular vehicle if you can but the first thing to do is to go check the gas cap and then the next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve this will be located inside the engine compartment somewhere it'll have like two hoses going to it and a wiring harness and this is basically just a valve that opens and shuts to let the gas vapors go into the engine. This is fairly easy to test. I made some YouTube videos on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing to go and do is check out this purge valve and be sure that it's working correctly, that it's opening and shutting, and that there's no leaks going on. And if that all looks good, then the next thing you can go and check is going to be the charcoal canister and the vent valve solenoid. These are usually located together. They'll be up and underneath the vehicle somewhere. It'd be like a square box up by the gas tank somewhere. And if anything goes wrong with these components and it can cause problems, if any of these hoses are leaking or if that vent valve solenoids went bad or anything like that, then it can cause issues. And so you can go and check it out. Be sure none of these hoses look like it's damaged. Be sure all the wiring looks like it's okay and things like this. You can run different tests on it if you want to, mainly with this vent valve. But the next thing to go and check out is going to be this charcoal canister. And so if you check that all out, if you check out the gas cap, you check out the charcoal canister, the vent valve, the purge valve solenoid, and that all looks good, then very likely there is a leak somewhere inside of the system. And one of these hoses or one of these components is leaking. And you can go around and try to spot it. You can try to go around and look at these hoses and see if you see anything cracked or anything like that but sometimes it can be kind of difficult to find a leak in the evap system if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they'd feed smoke into the evap system and then wherever the smoke came out they know where the leaks at and they'd be able to find it there's some low-cost smoke machines on amazon or ebay you can also make one of these up yourself there's some good youtube videos on how you can make one of these up for like five ten dollars but the next thing to go and do is to go around to all these hoses and go around to all the components and try to see if there's any leaks going on because very likely at this point there is a leak somewhere inside of that system and it's just causing issues and then the last thing on the list is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor. This is usually located on the fuel pump, although it can be located somewhere else. It's usually on the fuel pump. But basically, the onboard computer is using this sensor to monitor the system. So if anything goes wrong with that sensor and it starts sending out bad data, then the onboard computer just might think that there's a problem and there isn't. So if you checked everything else out, then it's a good idea to go test that fuel tank pressure sensor since there might be an issue going on with it. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P1440 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.